Hello Lolos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. If you want to follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. And also, guys, you can follow me on my vlog, which is MissRenitySmithBabies.com, which I will be updating this week. Also, guys, if you want to join the Chatterbox, the link is in the description bar. It is $1.99 to join that. You do have to be at least 18 years old. Also, guys, I have merch. So I have a lot going on. Um, other than that, guys, um, right now I don't have any available babies for sale right now. But I am working with all my heart to get um, finished with a couple babies that I will be putting up for sale. Some will be bald and some hopefully will be scheduled for hair. Um, today I have baby Piper here. You guys may or may not remember her. Or for those that are new might not know who she is but she is piper she is a micro preemie meaning she was born very early like maybe 28 29 weeks um so she is like undeveloped so completely so she's very tiny petite um although she still can actually fit some carter's preemie stuff um like onesies and stuff like that and this is a preemie diaper and she fits it fairly well which is nice so I can still shop for her she is the um oh my god half pint by Marita Winters um sculpt and I just absolutely love the way that Marita Winters sculpted this kit because a lot of times preemies don't really look like preemies they just look like small newborns and I you know of course I collect for realism so I be wanting them to look you know the real preemie and also when I paint a preemie I like to paint them like the blotchy real or you know sometimes they don't be too too blotchy but they usually have a bit of redness to them um but you know sometime I will paint them in between it just depends um how preemie they are so she does have a little bit of the blotchy skin going on she's not like too red though um so she's kind of like an in-between. Um, so I, I just, I really, really love the way that she turned out as far as painting go. But it's funny, um, you know, when my mom and, you know, my, my kids come over or whatever and they see her, they're like, um, she's like realistic, cute, but kind of scary, they say sometimes. I don't know. I think it's because she's so tiny and she her eyes is like wide open. So they make little comments here and there. But you know how that goes. Um, I'm going to put her in. This is actually H&M. This is zero to one month. And she actually, um, I think she fits this well too. Um, she did come with a little tummy plate. So I painted her a little tummy plate. She has a little um, belly button. I would love to be able to get my andrew her skin tone um i really love her skin tone i'm trying to think who else was her skin tone um i think luca is almost her skin tone um but yeah so um her hair <laughs> i just rooted some hair i was the the goal was just to root just a little bit of fuzz at the top and then i decided she needed a little bit of edges just so when i put on her hat she didn't look so bald but then I just went on and like, you know, just kind of like spruce little hair here and there. I am going to actually go back in and finish rooting her completely um, so that she doesn't look um, crazy um, when her hair is dry. Like when it's wet and it's laying down, it's, it's fine. It don't look too, too crazy, but in the back, it's, it's like pretty bald. So anyway i will finish that but i was just thinking i mean when i decided to grab her for um to change her and talk to you guys for a moment i i thought about that i said you know all the babies that i end up like loving the most are like some of the like off of the radar type sculpts and babies that people wouldn't think that you would actually love and i was watching um pool bear 253 she was live the other day and I was on there chatting it up with her and she had mentioned that some of the babies that she loved the most in her collection or not the most because she said she didn't really have favorites but the ones that she's kind of drawn to or bonded to a little bit more um, 
she they are babies that people wouldn't expect and some of them i think had sentimental values but you have to catch it up yourself but anyway but i was thinking the same thing it's like you don't ever hear me saying oh i'm gonna sell piper because i can easily just finish rooting her hair and then put her up for sale um and i know she would sell because she's highly detailed and um you know some people really like the preemies did i bring your hat oh there it is so um but i don't have no intentions on selling her and i think sometimes life experiences draw you to certain babies too so when I had my first grandbabies, which was twin babies, um, and it was born super early, um, around this time, like 28, um, 29 weeks, um, it made me even appreciate preemies even more and really get a feel of what they actually, you know, look like and, and stuff. And so um, that that changed the way i feel about preemies too so even though i might not interact with them as much now piper in the beginning i told it piper around a lot um and i still will pick piper up and and bring her to my room and stuff like that um she's it's something about the way she's weighted and all that and stuff i love this diaper on her <laughs> I'm so weird. I like sometimes I don't want to cover the diapers up. But um so I am still very much drawn to Piper. But um you know the lamb sculpt, the lamb sculpt is one of those sculpts that you could see and be like, oh I love that sculpt. And then sometimes you'd be like, oh he looks so like dopey or whatever people say. Um and they don't like the lamb sculpt. Well, I was kind of torn in between two, but I love the hands and the feet. Mostly the feet. I wasn't really particularly fond of one of his hands. But um, I loved the the feet on that sculpt. I loved the sculpting on that sculpt. And I said, oh, I got to get one. And guess who's my favorite baby? One of my favorite babies is Phoenix. And he's the limb sculpt. So it's like, even though that sculpt did become popular, um usually the babies that I'm totally in love with are not like you know on the radar that everybody is just screaming about like Memphis is not one that everybody is like buying every day um my Soraya by Laura Tuza Ross um which is Kenya um I absolutely love that sculpt so much but you don't hear everybody talking about it so I guess I'm a little different like I don't go with the most popular I go with whatever like pulls my heartstring and that's how I kind of go with things and that's the same with so um the uh the Andrew by Mesa said I I was so torn about that that sculpt because I felt like the body could have been a little bit better as far as the it, it don't have no bum bum and stuff like you know the diaper bud and stuff like that but i love the face on that baby and i wasn't offended by like it, overall it's not a bad body um not like bad bad you know what i mean um and the hands and the feet are cute so i wasn't like overly like no 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 and but then there was a moment where it was like absolutely not not doing it but i kept going back to it like i was just drawn to that kit and so i've been painting him and it's like i've never play want to play with the baby while i'm painting the baby like this particular scope so it's so weird because you know we have all these big name sculpts out here and we have all this you know a lot of like the most popular dolls and stuff like that and um don't get me wrong i love them too <laughs> some of them too but um it's like i would have never expect myself to really really be so excited and like anxious to finish this baby or get this have this baby in my um andrew in my collection like that and but here i am today i actually have bought him little things special special little items 
you know, clothing and stuff like that for him. And I, you know, I'm just like so excited about it. And I'm praying that his praying that his coloring and his painting comes out, you know, perfect and stuff. And then, you know, when I root him, I have a specific way I want to root him. Like I've never been so planned out about a baby. Um, and don't get me wrong, I get excited about most of my babies and there's times once I start painting, I fall head over heels and all that. I'm not saying that. It's just a little different because I guess I'm freaking my own stuff out because I'm like, wait a minute. This is not like, you know, the state of an art sculpt that, you know, everybody will be like, oh my God, it's just so amazing. Da, 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 da. You know, so it's like, but I feel like he's amazing and it's just like, you know, I when I pick his head up to um, paint, it's just like, I don't know, it does something to me. Like, it gives me, like, that fuzzy feeling. Like, you know how when a mom pick up a baby for the first time or when you look at, you know, and I'm not comparing the dolls to my experience of my real children. Calm down. Get your little panties out of wad. Some ignorant person gonna comment, Oh, you saying you know that God wanted a dog can't compare to a real baby? Shut your face. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that the feeling is very similar. It gives you that similar feeling. Of course, I'm not gonna love the doll over my real kid. Come on. But... Um, I don't like them too much sometimes, though. But <laughs> nothing can replace that that feeling of, you know, that. But it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good feeling. They get you, like, hyped up and, you know, excited. And feeling like, you know, a mommy and stuff. So, yeah, I can't speak for people that do not have children. Because I do. But I can speak from a person that does have children. And I can say... These dolls are so lifelike that it is very hard to not just fall into that mother role. I mean, people that actually be like talking crap about my hobby or the dolls, like if I'm out with one of my dolls, they will be steady talking noise and be like, why are you holding that baby like that? And I'll be like, here, you want to hold it? And then they'll... I'll show them, like, you, you know, just feel the weight. They'll be like, ah, I want to feel it. I'll be like, just feel the weight of it. And then they, when they hold the baby, while we're talking, they're doing this. And y'all know, if y'all ever took y'all babies out, the first thing they're doing, they're doing this. And then I'll be like, I'll point it out. If they don't catch themselves, I'll point it out. I'll be like, um, so what you doing? And they'll be like, oh, my God, I'm patting this thing, this dog on baby. And then they'll start calling it a baby instead of a dog. That's when you know the, the, the realism is real. And people will judge you until they feel it. I had like long time ago, fast, just make this story real short. I had a friend that, um, lost the baby. Um, and she, that was her last chance to be able to have a baby. And so that meant she would never have kids again. And she was really down and she was going through it. And she was, you know, home, you know, she had to have surgeries, da, 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 da. And I was afraid. I didn't know if the dolls would make her feel good or not. And um, I talked to her and she was like, girl, nobody want no doll, this and a da 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 da. And so we were just talking or whatever. And, you know, I said, I'm going to come and visit you. And I took a chance. I said, is she going to cuss me out or whatever? We were pretty good friends enough. And I had Paris and somebody else. Um, Jacory, no, I didn't take Jacory that day. I had Paris and another baby. I don't know. Anyway, it was reborns, and I had them in a car seat, and I put the car seats on their porch, on her porch, and I knocked and I left because I had to go get the other baby out of the car, and she jumped when she saw it, and then she was like, "Oh my God, this girl done bought these dolls," and she started laughing, and um. So when I came in, I was like, just, just, she was like, oh, she's cute like that. And I was like, hold it. So when she held the baby, she was like, it was just like something in her face. And y'all know I'm an emotional person. But, um, she was like, she kind of got a little emotional and she did not put that baby down the whole visit. And her mom actually told me, thank you. Because until she held my dolls and you know 
she did not um she had she she had not would not go to any baby showers she would not go around other babies you know she didn't want to see people with kids you know types of pregnant women she even missed like some of her she was very like she's one of those people that like she's the favorite auntie the the um godmother of the year that just loves baby people babies and treat them like everything and and buy themselves she had stopped doing that so she wouldn't she didn't even go to her niece you know like birthday party or something and after that she was able to go to um i think was it a baby shower or a birthday party with kids but she had never been around kids and she hadn't held her niece since you know the situation that happened when she lost her baby and she actually held the baby and her mom was like oh my god i just think you know she first she was like i thank god for using you and i thank you for letting god use you da 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 um and so she was just like my daughter have not smiled this much since she you brought these dolls around so anyway it was it was just a heartfelt moment it was life-changing for her for me um i did offer i tried to i was trying to get her a doll at the time i wasn't painting dolls but i was trying to like you know help her get one at one point but that's just a whole nother story but anyway um it was just it you know it just showed me that you know some of these people that's out here judging us until they actually see these dolls or if hold them they don't really understand so i can see how it could be, you know, a thing that's comforting to women that does not do not have children, but it's also just comforting to people, to women, because we're we're nurturing people um, by nature. Um, and I think now this is just my opinion, and I, I don't want to come off harsh, but I feel like there is something to be said about a person who gets angry about the dolls and hate the dolls that looks so real more than it is the people that's actually playing with them because how can you be so angry and y'all if y'all see stuff under my nails I've been painting so it's paint it's not dirt um how can you be so upset with something that's so calm and innocent looking and stuff like why would you you know how could that make you angry? Something in you are, is not right. Like, even people that be like, okay, that's creepy, but it is kind of cute. Or, that's creepy, but I can see how somebody would love it. Or, whatever. Even the people that just get them and just put them on their shelves. Or, like, to... You know, people... Some people collect for fashion. And they just want to dress them. And the, all the accessories. And just pose them and style them. I get that too cuz even just that even for me I don't always just walk around holding my dolls just coming into the nursery seeing them you know in their bassinets and stuff like that just relaxes me and make me feel like I'm in a very you know calm space I don't know so anyway that's just that this video has gotten way too long I didn't expect to talk y'all heads off but you know stuff happens anyway um well, Miss Piper Pooh is I think about um, 15, 16 inches, something like that. Um, so yeah. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Oh, she does have a twin brother out there, but birdie babies have him. Um, she does have a twin brother. Um, his painting is actually more neater than hers, though. Um, less blotchy as hers, but yeah, um, she does have a twin brother. Um, they have different color eyes, I think, and, but, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Piper, and, um, let me know if you have, like, favorite places to shop for your preemies, and, um, do you have any preemies in your collection? Because I think I like just having at least one or two in my collection. They don't have to be. I don't. I'm not a whole like collect thousands of preemies, but you know, one or two is fine. Anyway, I should go now. Talk to you guys later. Bye.